The people of Ethiopia are considered to be the poorest of the poor on earth. For the past decade, Touching Africa Ministries out of Aurora has done its part to provide clean water, food, shoes, and education for families there. I'm happy to welcome Dr. Michael Elliott and Tiffany Lopez. They're here to share more about their mission and how you can help too. Nice to see Great. both of you. Nice to have you. Thank you for being yeah. here. So, Michael, tell me more about Touching Africa. What exactly is it? We are a nonprofit, faith-based public charity, and we're working currently in Ethiopia. We do community development, free medical care, leadership training, and a variety of other things, working with children and, and youth. You're changing lives. You're helping yeah. others. Yeah. How did it all start? Ten years ago, my wife and I were invited to come to Ethiopia to participate as a speaker and um, in a leadership conference, and we fell in love with the people, oh. absolutely fell in love with them. And after the conference, the leaders approached us and asked us, would you come back? Okay. And it just snowballed from there and thus Touching Africa was born. So that explains why Ethiopia, but are yeah. there other parts that you would like to have? Actually, yes, we're getting uh, invitations from all over the continent of Africa right now to come and bring our program that we've developed into their countries, but um, resource driven. So we're doing what we can uh, right now with Ethiopia. They'll become the prototype of what we'll take throughout the continent. That's exciting. And how many villages are you currently working We're in? We're currently working in five different communities, and in each community there's a network of dozens of villages, and we work those networks of villages each time we're in that community. Interesting. Looking at wonderful video of the lives that you're changing. Miss Tiffany, what are your goals for the Children's Educational Project? Well, we know that education is so important. Right. We believe that here. And, you know, for those kids, it's important for them, too. And we are giving those kids an opportunity for education. So through scholarships, these kids are, for the first time, having an opportunity to go to school. That's wonderful. I know. It's an amazing thing that we get to be involved in. How are the children selected, and, and what is the cost per child? So we have three full-time staff members over there. And so they are the ones involved in finding these children. And these children um, are... Um, the criteria is, you know, some of these kids have never been to school. And these kids are, some of them have been abandoned and orphaned. Some of them are living with relatives. That's how they're chosen. Wow. I can think of my own children. And if they were in that situation and someone came up to them. You're going to get me crying. I know I can see you crying. And said, you have the opportunity to go to school. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I would want that for them. So these kids are getting that opportunity. And for $25 a month, these kids get that opportunity. And um, every Saturday, they go to a half-day program, and they're getting to um, learn English, health and nutrition. Um, That's wonderful. All this extra education on top of their week of um, public school. That's wonderful. So, so they're educating themselves, but they also, they're lacking the basics. There are so many yeah. children that don't Absolutely. even have shoes. Yeah. So what Absolutely. are you doing there, and how much do shoes cost for each child? Well, it's such a um, basic need that we take for granted here. And so when we go over to Ethiopia, um, we do major, major shoe, shoe drives. Mm -hmm. And so we go to villages, and we hand out thousands, thousands of shoes. Um, to date, we have handed out 6,000 pairs of shoes, wow. Touching Africa has. Um, our goal for this year is 4,000 pairs of shoes. Well, now let's hit clean water because yes. you're also trying to help them with clean drinking water and a filter. Yes, and for us, we take something like clean sure, drinking water. Sure, sometimes we let it drip out Absolutely. of the faucet. We don't turn it off completely and we don't realize there's other Absolutely. people it, dying because they don't have clean drinking water. Absolutely. And um, we have seen their water source and that is something that we would never drink. That's something that those people are drinking and we know that they're drinking it and it's killing them. But for something that um, we can do for something that's so cheap, mm -hmm. we can change their lives. And, and there's so much more to talk about, including medical aid. But I want to end with you, Michael, and find out how can someone help? How can someone support what you're doing? Go to our website okay. and check out our, our different programs that we have. We have a donation page right there. They can get involved in our golf tournament that's coming up August the 8th. 
and participate in that. It helps us raise money for the shoes, the filters, and the medical care. Very nice. Thank you very much Thank for coming you. on the Thank show. You, you guys are doing us. powerful work, changing lives, and you can help improve the lives of Ethiopians. To find out how you can help Touching Africa Ministries, visit touchingafricaministries.org and sign up for their golf tournament on Saturday, August 8th at the Heritage Eagle Bend. The phone number to call is 303-680-2363. Again, that number 303-680-2363. A day of golf can help that beautiful baby you're looking at right there on your screen.